Today we learn how to do this. Welcome to the Resolve store. We are inside of DaVinci Resolve once again. We have our two clips on the timeline. And today we learn how to do the speed ramping effect. Right here we have two clips from Artgrid. You should definitely check out Artgrid if you're searching for great collections of story based raw footage for any project you like to work on. The link in the description will give you two extra months on Artgrid. We start off with the first clip. We have our fighter doing a kick right here and what we want to do is we want to speed things up right when he is putting down his foot again speeding the footage up until he stands still again like this so this section right here until about here we set a marker is going to be a normal pace and then we are going to speed things up until he's standing still again like this we set another marker just click M and now we will start by highlighting the clip gonna do a right click and then we are going to retime controls and what you want to do now is you want to move your playhead to the first of your markers you set clicking on this little drop down arrow right here and now you want to go to add speed point click it and then you will do the same exact thing for the other marker move to the marker click on the drop down arrow go to add speed point and now you are having your two speed points. What we want to do now is change the speed inside of this section. We do that by clicking on that drop down arrow once again and now we go to change speed. We just go to 800%. If we zoom in you can see this little section here is at 800% of the pace now and these two sections the beginning and the end are still at 100%. We can do a little playback so you can see how it is looking right now. So we have this section speeded up, but the thing is it doesn't look really smooth. Now to make that look smoother, we can right click again on the clip and then go to retime curve. You will see this thing here popping up. What we want to do now is go to this drop down arrow right here, click on it. We will uncheck retime frame and check retime speed. So now you see this little line here popped up. This is actually indicating the speed change of the clip. So we see here the speed is at 100% and then right here it is going straight up to 800%. We want to click on one of those two points, click on it and then you want to change from this thing to this thing. You see there showed up a little curve. We will do that on the other point as well. So click on it, change it to the smoother settings like this and now you have it like this. We can do a little playback and see how it performs. Like this. It's already performing a little better but what we still can do is clicking on one of those points and right when we click it we see this little line popping up and what we can do with this is we can stretch the line. And you see what it's doing. The curve is actually getting smoother. So we want it like this. Do it on the other point. Click on the point and now stretch this line right here. And now you see this is actually a beautiful curve right now. We can play through once again. And it is looking much better. We can close the retime curve menu. Now there is still one thing we can do. We can actually decrease the speed of this section a little bit. So it isn't such a hard change of 100 to 800. We can do this by clicking the right of those two speed points like this and drag it to the right. We see the speed number decreases. We can move to about 500% like this. We can do another playback and now it's looking perfect. So we have another clip right here and what we want to do is we have our fighter right here and right here he starts swinging his little sword right here. So what we can do on this section, speed it up like this and now we can go to normal pace right when he swings the sword. Then moving on to faster speed and that's what we're doing right here. So we can mark our points where he is starting to swing his sword. That's about here. Set a marker right here. And then set the second marker uh, right here. Now clicking on the clip, right click, 
go to Retime Controls. Now you see again this little menu. You want to move your playhead to the first marker. Click on the drop down arrow right here. Add a speed point. Do the same thing for the next marker. Drop down arrow. Add speed point and now you have your two speed points again. So we are going to speed up the first and the third section so the beginning and the end and the middle is staying at 100%. We are clicking on the drop down arrow right here, change the speed and we could go to about 400%. We do the same thing for the other part of the clip, click on the drop down arrow, change speed, go to 400%. We can do a little playback. This is already looking great, but just like in the first clip, we can still smoothen that out a little bit. So, highlight the clip again, do a right click, and now we want to go to Retime Curve. You want to click this drop down arrow right here, uncheck Retime Frame, and check Retime Speed. Now we are looking like this. You want to click one of the points, do the smooth setting, and do the same thing for the other point. Click on it. Click on the smooth curve and you can even drag this line that pops up a little bit to make that even smoother. We can do a little playback once again. Yes, it's looking great. So now you know how to do the speed ramping effect. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a master at DaVinci Resolve.